So the fourth meal that I made from Blue Apron was the chicken and coconut curry uh, served over rice. So what we're going to do here is, as usual, we'll start with washing our hands. We'll take the chicken and pat it off with a pair of paper towels and get that in the pan as quickly as possible because that's going to be one of our long pulls on getting the whole meal together. So we got some salt and pepper, pepper, pepper on our chicken, put a little bit of oil in the pan and toss that in there. One thing that I did this time that I haven't done in the past is make sure I use a different cutting board for my chicken before and after it's cooked. Now we're going to go into the bok choy. The bok choy was actually really fun to cut. Um, as you can see, we're separating the stems and the leaves. The stems were easier to cut than the leaves. Uh, my knives are kind of dull, and so the leaves were kind of hard to chop. But chopping up those stems is nice and solid and really gives a, a pretty nice you know, crunch to it, like celery or something similar to that. Uh, and then trying to get those leaves chopped up as well. The bok choy stems are going to come in this pan later and be cooked down, kind of sautéed like you would onions. Uh, we are now going to cut our onion. I've said when I started cooking Blue Apron that one of the things I wanted to learn to do was to chop an onion in less than seven minutes. Uh, I have actually learned to do that. Uh, this onion only took me, you know, three minutes to chop half of. So, you know, I'm, I'm making progress, but definitely more to be done there. The other thing, of course, we have to add because it's a Blue Apron meal is garlic. Every Blue Apron meal has garlic, and so here we are chopping up the garlic. In total, the onion took me three minutes, the bok choy took me two minutes, and the garlic took me two minutes. Uh, peeling the garlic, of course, being the longest source of time for my particular use of garlic. Come back in here, check on this chicken again. Again, we want to make sure we get that chicken all the way cooked through. We don't want any salmonella, or really, raw chicken is just gross, even if it's not going to give you any health issues. So we don't want that. Move that chicken over to a different cutting board, just for cooked chicken. Good job there. And uh, add our onions and our bok choy, as well as some pepper, pepper, and pepper and salt. Uh, you can see the rice cooking in the back there. Um, that's been going on pretty much the whole time. We'll add in our garlic. Have a lot of trouble opening the tomato paste uh, bag. Um, Blue Apron tomato paste comes in these little metallic pouches, pouches that are really hard to open. Uh, and then add the tomato paste and a little bit of curry powder, about a quarter of what they gave us, just because no one in my family really likes spice. And the coconut milk, which I expected to be a lot more solid, so um, kind of splashed all out there. I do wish I'd done this in a little bit bigger pan. You know, this needed to simmer down, but I didn't have a lot of room for it. We're also coming over here to chop our chicken, and I really could have waited longer. You'll see that I kind of put my finger on it and then kept taking it off because it was really still too hot to chop. But it was the next thing on the ingredient list, and so I just kept kind of like, oh, I gotta get it done, I gotta get it done, even though I had plenty of time. So uh, we did get all that chicken chopped up. That's going to go in that pan in a little bit. And the other thing that we're going to add that's going to be one of the last things to go in is those bok choy leaves. Those are going to go in at the last second. They basically just want to finish up and wilt. And, uh, yeah. So in the meantime, we're, again, having this coconut milk kind of simmer down. We want it to be, you know, not like a solid, but a little bit more solid because it's going to go on top of the rice. We don't want it running all over the plate. Uh, so you'll see here, we toss those leaves in, we toss the chicken in, and we've drained our rice. So this is kind of the last of it there. And you can see that um, bok choy kind of melting down in the pan there. Put that over the rice. We got plenty of liquid here, again, because this didn't really simmer down as much as I would have liked. But we got that done, and we got the meal all put together. So that is the coconut and chicken and coconut curry from Blue Apron. I love the meal. Came out great. Wasn't too spicy. The bok choy was fun to cook with. Everything went really well.